Over here, I have some thermometers uh, that really help me know how to plan in the morning, in the evening, or whenever I need to get up. Uh, this one here on the wall, it shows the inside temperature at the top at 72.5 degrees, which is a very comfortable temperature for me. The outside temperature is below, it's 58.7 degrees. And that means it's cooling off, so if I want to get out and get some exercise, I should get out pretty soon and do my laps around the house before it gets too much colder, because that's pretty close to my limit wearing a flannel shirt and my three layers of pants that I have on right now. I also have another thermometer here that shows me what the temperature is out in the kitchen living room area. And it's 72 degrees out there, which is a nice temperature. So, uh... If we would get up in the morning and it's maybe 55 degrees out there or 60 degrees, my wife knows to make a fire and get things warmed up out there and I can keep an eye on it. When it's warm enough for me, then I'll get up and, and go on out there to the kitchen. So those are some things that kind of help make life a little bit more, a little easier for me. I have my shortwave radio here that I can just push the button and turn it on if I want to hear world news. And I have a, uh, an atomic clock that tells me the time exactly to the second, which, since I am very, a very precise person, I like to know exactly what time it is. And I have a calendar right here in sight that I can see the dates. And I also have three years worth of calendar right here. So, if, like a few minutes ago, I got a call from my doctor telling me that my June doctor's appointment will be changed to July 5. So I can see that July 5 is on a Tuesday. And uh, so I can see three years worth at, at one time. So that's really nice. And then for the telephone, I have speed dial numbers, the whole list of speed dial numbers. So I don't have to look up and punch all the numbers, especially for the long distance ones. I just have the speed dial numbers. I just uh, dial like for my parents, it's 20 and the pound sign and it'll go right through to my parents. And I use a long distance service right now called Tel3 Advantage. And I dial 44 pound, which is their access number. And then I can call anywhere in the world for a very reasonable price. And if I have a whole string of numbers to call, I just have it all entered into uh, my... Um, oh, what's it? My account on Tel3 Advantage and I just have all the speed dial numbers and the names in there and then I have my list printed out here so I can just punch in the name and I can call our son who is working as a mission pilot and volunteer missionary down in South America and I don't have to look up and dial a whole string of numbers and it's especially handy if either he's busy or he isn't answering and I need to try dialing again a few minutes later I don't have to redial all the numbers. Or if I need to call a, a variety of different people at the same time. So that, those are time savers and, and really help a lot. Uh, another thing that really, really helps is when I have my computer in use is this little nifty USB hard drive. It is a Seagate one terabyte. You can get them for $99 on Amazon. And I can hold all my pictures, my files, back up everything on my computer on here. And then I keep it with me underneath the wheelchair in a little rack that I have under there. So that wherever I go, my data is with me. So if the house burns down or my computer gets stolen or whatever, I always have a backup on this nifty little thing that I can keep with me wherever I go. So that's something that everybody should have, even if you're not uh, paralyzed or in a situation like mine. It's really, really handy to have. And it has saved a lot of headaches and heartaches having the backup when files have been lost or something happened to the computer. Uh, my water. I keep it right here by my bed. And every night I wake up uh, every two or three hours or so. And so my, my mouth is usually really dry, so I just take a couple of sips of water turn over and go back to sleep, hopefully, and uh, that way I don't get pressure sores because I'm waking up every two hours or so, 
and I'm staying hydrated during the night. And my water is right handy. I can just pick it up and get it even when it's dark. I know exactly where it is. I can just reach and feel where it is. Also, over here, I have something that really helps a lot, and that is this clock that shines up on the ceiling. And in the daytime, you can't really see what the time is up on the ceiling, but when it gets dark, you look up on the ceiling and you see the red numbers up there. So when I wake up in the night, I can know whether it's 10.30 at night or whether it's 2.30 in the morning or 5.30. And if it's... Uh, sometimes it'll seem like I've slept for hours and it's just been 10 minutes. And so, no, it's not time to turn over yet. So that kind of helps to just be able to look up at the ceiling when I'm sleeping. And I always sleep on my side. So my head is always where I can just turn it and see real easy. So that's another thing that really makes life easier for me. We keep my pills right here where my wife can get them out and give them to me as I need them. But I keep some spares right here between the remotes. So if she isn't around to give them to me, I can just get to them. However, how can I pick them up without being able to use my fingers? What I do is I just wet my finger and then I just, it just sticks to my finger and it works perfectly and gives me plenty of time to get it in my mouth. So that's a handy way to pick things up.